Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So for those of you who are new to my channel, I make videos about skincare, hair care, and so on videos every once in a while. And every once in a while, again, I do digress into some other videos. And today, we're going to be talking about how to properly remove facial hair and prevent ingrown hairs. Okay, so um, I've been struggling with facial hairs for a very... How long can I say what well, it's like probably like six years now seven years now but like ever since I was a kid it's something that's been going on in my family where my mother has it my aunt my cousins like we all got it and we're all females and you know at like one point in my life like you know I used to come on YouTube and I used to like you know YouTube put type into the YouTube search bar like females with facial hairs and like how and stuff like that and it's like most of the women that I used to see on YouTube were like, you know, women that, you know, were male looking and long story short, I didn't really see like a lot of pretty girls with like, you know, facial hairs and stuff like that. I just saw like, you know, the different looking type of women that, you know, I ain't even trying to say it like that, but like I ain't see like the pretty girls with facial hairs is basically what I'm trying to say. And I'm really over here like, oh my God. They're so pretty girls with facial hairs. And so, like, I'm really over here, like, just tripping, like, tripping, tripping, tripping. And then I just decided to become the pretty girl with the facial hair. And then it's like, once I became the pretty girl with the facial hair, I realized there's mad pretty girls with facial hairs. Like, for one, I got mad bad bitches in my family, number one. So it's like, <laughs> so it's like, I'm really out here, like, you know. So, one thing that I do want to talk about is with, like, facial hairs and stuff like that. I feel like I'm ranting a little bit. So, I do want to just hop right into it because I know that, you know, a lot of people get, like, you know, super insecure and, like, super self-conscious. Like, that was me. And I did laser, like, you know, more than once. And I had stopped, went back, and blah, 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 Because laser is not permanent. It is semi-permanent. Electrolysis is something that is a permanent option. So something that I always do before I get my ingrown hair, not even my ingrown hairs, before I start plucking my facial hairs, which is something that is like super normal to me because I integrate it into my skincare routine, which is I exfoliate my face and my neck. Okay, like I be getting my neck with my face and everything and I exfoliate my face and my neck. So that's like rule number one when it comes to, you know, pre-plucking your chin hairs and whatnot. Um... So for me, exfoliating, like, well, I would say for everyone, exfoliating is going to help you um, get rid of all that dead skin that's underneath your neck, the stuff that you might have, like, you know, you know, like the excess skin from like your ingrown hair bumps, the scabs and whatnot and all that good stuff. Um, so with that, the next thing that I do is I normally just go in and I pluck my ingrown hairs. So one of the things with like plucking is, <clears throat> I don't feel like my eyelashes is falling off. So one of the things with plucking is like I always like to make sure that, it's not even just make sure, but like, alright, so one thing that, <laughs> so one thing with plucking is you need to make sure that you are actually fully pulling out the hair completely. Because if the hair breaks, that hair can either, sometimes the hair will just go right back under the skin and become ingrown hair. Or that hair can break and once again become ingrown hair. So you need to make sure that when you are plucking, you pluck properly. You pluck in the direction that the hair is growing. Don't pull it the opposite way. That don't make sense. You have to pull it in the exact same way. And it's so sad to say, I really don't have anyone here to de help me demonstrate on how to, you know, properly pluck your chin hairs. But I hope you guys can understand what I'm trying to say. Um, because sadly, I'm home alone, thankfully, because people can't film in this house unless they hear by themselves, okay? Um, so, I do want to say, just make sure you pluck in the direction that the hair is growing so it's easier for you to pull it. And please try not to break the hair. Try not to let the hair go back into your skin. And I'm not saying if it goes back into your skin, try with all your might to get it back out. No, because in the end, you're just going to end up damaging your skin. Um, so, 
you just you just gotta take that L right there where it was at and just leave it right there, okay? Because that's the L. Um so the next thing that I do want to like hop right into after that one is removing your ingrown hairs. So a lot of people don't know how to properly remove their ingrown hairs. And I want to say that it took me a while to learn how to properly remove my ingrown hairs. And you know all the ingrown hairs that I've removed over my years because I am a professional. <laughs> like seriously ask anyone in my family like I'm, I'm the professional. I'm the it, okay? So, um, so with that being said, like, okay, so when you're removing your ingrown hair now, y'all, y'all listening? Y'all listening? All right, so when you're removing your ingrown hair, it's simple. Go, you have to go into the skin. Like, people could be like, oh, you need to exfoliate. I don't know what type of exfoliation you're going to ever get in your life that's going to let you take out that goddamn hair. Unless it's literally sitting right at the top of your skin. That you could probably just flick it with your hand or something and it will come out. But, like, the real ingrown hair is the ones that, that's our... <laughs> the ones that are, like, really inside of the skin... Well, the only way to get that out is you're gonna have to go, you're gonna have to dig into your neck. It's it's sad to say, I, dig wherever that ingrown hair is. You have to go under the skin. Try to use like a needle. You can use like a pointy tip razor. Um, did I say razor? I'm losing it. Tweezer, losing it. <laughs> um, use a pointy tip tweezer and you have to go in there and get it so with the next thing is when you get that ingrown hair out from the ingrown spot that it was at you need to leave the ingrown hair alone you cannot pluck it no you cannot pluck the ingrown hair because if you pluck that ingrown hair it's just gonna be another ingrown hair a few weeks later again you're just gonna have another ingrown here in the exact same spot and the reason for that being y'all is I cannot explain it to y'all the way how I want to because it's like I want to draw y'all a whole graph on the side but I cannot so the way that I can explain it is you're going to this is if you do it the way how you've been doing it I'm just gonna show you what is happening if you do it the way that you're doing it if you're doing it the way that you're doing it which is just taking out the ingrown hair and just plucking it right at the very same time well when you do that the area that you pluck the ingrown hair from is gonna basically heal and it's gonna cover that the pore that the hair would naturally just grow right through um, so the skin is gonna grow right back over it and then the hair is gonna grow right back up it's it's hard for me to explain. It's going to go right back over it. And then the hair is going to go right back up. And the hair is not going to be able to come through that skin. Because it has been healed. If you understand what I'm saying. So, I don't know if you even look at it. Anyway. Um, so, it's not going to be able to come up. It's going to be trapped underneath the skin. Because that skin is healed. If you understand what I'm saying again. So, with it, with the way that I'm trying to say to do it, is when you take out that ingrown hair, you can you can take it out. You you don't have to pluck it out. If you want to like simply just use the scissors and just snip it to like a length that you're comfortable with, and that's how you're gonna have to leave it for now. And with that being said, the area around the ingrown hair that you basically just digged up is going to heal around that ingrown hair. So that pore is going to still be open. And there goes your ingrown hair. So yeah, that's how I properly remove ingrown hairs um, from my facial hair, my female facial hairs and stuff like that. Because, I mean, honestly, you don't have to take my advice, but I'm just saying that's why sometimes you might take out your ingrown hair and, uh, and then it just becomes a whole different sort of exact same ingrown hair in the exact same spot. And in order to avoid that, you're going to have to basically do what I said to do or else you're not going to avoid it. And then when all is said and done, the last step that I always do is I always exfoliate. Listen, y'all, exfoliating your neck should also be a part of your skincare regimen. Every time you wash your face, you should be washing your neck as well. Just consider it a part of your face as well. So, yeah, and that's exactly what I do. Um, 
I hope these tips were helpful to you guys and I hope this helps. Um, so in my next video, I will be making a video on how to get rid of hyperpigmentation scars much, much faster because, you know, it's also a problem too when you have like a big ass scar like right here from the bump that you just plucked, you know, from the ingrown hair bump that you just went inside of. So with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching my video today. I really do hope all my tips helped you guys or I hope that someone can take away some piece of information to utilize it in a way that is beneficial to you. Um, and if you guys are interested in anything that I said uh, that my channel is about, um, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel or maybe you can even go check out my channel to see the type of content that I normally make on a regular day. So... Bye, guys.